Hey everybody, it's Josh from Collection DX here with another brick review. This is the Fantastic Idea Nutcracker by JM Bricklayer. I'm looking at this like it's a mecha nutcracker. I don't know a lot about it. it. Looks like it's got some play features. It's 721 pieces. Is this fur? Oh, it's kind of interesting if there's like uh, for the fabric, so kind of like a weirdo hybrid kit. I don't know what to expect here, so I'm coming into this blind. This looks like a little action feature that we can open the lid and put little capsules that maybe come out of the mouth. So it's a nutcracker slash gashapon machine, perhaps. We are going to take a look at this now. I wanted to relax today. I feel like this is a good way to do it. Oh yeah, look at that. A little uh, adhesive clothy, furry bits in there. So you get your furry bits, you get a colorful instruction book. Very nice inside. You get lots of bags of parts and a brick separator. So we're gonna build and we'll be back. So here is the Nutcracker. Uh, it took me about three hours to build, roughly. Pretty solid guy, no build issues. I wanna talk about a couple of interesting things in the build. Um, it's the first build that I've done that has fabric <laughs> and felt and hair that are parts of the build. They're basically, these pads are attached with two-sided tape that are included, the mustache and those. So it's a little nice multimedia thing. There are, the arms move, legs come out, but you can't really do a lot with them. I mean, you can splay them out, but then he's not super steady. So I would just leave them alone. This arm moves as well. Sword uh, is here and you can actually take the sword off and put it in an, uh, a variant hand, which we'll show you that in a minute. But I wanted to show you the, the big thing here and that's the Gashapon gimmick, right? So in the lid here, you can open this up, you have all these little balls, right? And um, they, give, they give you paper and you can write your own little fortunes on them. There's not a lot of them. And one of the things I'm a little, let's say I'm uh, disappointed in is that if you look at the sort of promotional artwork for the thing, you kind of see that the, the thing is full with, with it's full with balls. <laughs> you know, so anytime it's sort of shown they're showing it, you know, kind of to the brim with these, and that's just not the case. Uh, so you, it probably could have come with more balls, but that's, that's what it is. So basically you just turn the key. Eventually one of them will get in the hopper. There you go. It comes out of the mouth. This time I got two. What is my fortune that I wrote? Let's see. I love lamp is my fortune. <laughs> so they give you more paper than you have balls. So I have extra fortunes to put in here. So if you are reading this and you want to leave a comment that can fit on this sheet of paper, I will write it and I will put it in as a fortune in this toy for posterity. First 10 comments will become a fixture in this. Again, they have to be short enough to fit and they have to be, uh, let's call it safe for work, right? Because uh, who knows if kids are gonna be playing with this. So it's a nice nice build, I like it. I was a little uh, iffy on the nutcracker concept, but I like that it's basically a gosh upon machine. Uh, and you can put your own things in. Let's look at this uh, variant hand now. I'll put this on here. And then the sword. And as you, you swap out this middle piece on the sword. And then it will plug in like so. And there you have the 
sword holding hand. So it's up to you if you want to have the sword in the holster or um, separate. But it's pretty cool. I'll tell you, there was uh, also some decals. Uh, but a lot of printed parts, surprisingly. It's interesting why some things get printed and some things get decaled. I don't know the rhyme or reason. But, you know, that's printed, that's printed, print, 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 print. But this is a decal, that's a decal. These are printed, then decal, then decal. So it's just like, you know, this belt is all printed. Just, you know, I don't know the rhyme or reason or mechanics behind why one thing is printed and one thing is not, but I enjoy a good decal. And these went on well, and I don't have any concerns about their longevity at this point. They seem to be sticking pretty good. Yeah, so, oh, it's kind of neat. It's not, it's a nutcracker, but it's not super Christmassy. I know everyone sort of associates Christmas with nutcrackers, but, you know, it's just kind of funky. It's almost, uh, looks like a mech, a steampunk looking thing. I don't know, it's neat, I like it. Uh, this is set, was sent by JM Bricklayer and it is available from JM Bricklayer. Purchase links are in the description. I hope you enjoyed this little video. It was a nice palette cleanser for me to work on another kit. I do have another kit for maybe next week we'll work on. But yeah, this has been Josh from Collection DX. Thanks for watching.